2012, the finish line, and we have to gear ourselves up for the fight that is ahead of us for 2012 and no weaklings will be able to survive 2012 except we are able and willing to fight and fighting doesn't mean physical not physically but we have to be able to are willing to face the challenges and stand up and don't back down from where the Lord is directing us, where the Lord is taking us. And the thought or the subtopic topic that we started here on is that we have to be radical for Christ in order to fight for the faith we have to be radical and we if any at all we want to to stand and defend this gospel we have to be radical determined and knowing that this is the where we will be going or how we will be standing up for this gospel, this faith that was once delivered unto us. And for 2012, it's not about the person beside us, behind us, before us, but we have got to realize that it's an individual thing, it's an individual thing. So if the person beside you is not willing to come, then don't let them drag you back. If they are not willing to defend this gospel, don't let them prevent you from defending it. It's an individual thing and you, we have got to reach to that point where we decide that radicalism is the way forward. And as I said on Sunday that when we hear of the word radical, we always associate it in some negative ways. We always associate the word radical with character that is not upright, character that is not full, I mean, good, good character. That's how we associate the word radical, you know, because we always think radical.